You're listening to the Fitzy and Whipper podcast. Adopt Change. We've had a great relationship with these guys. They're doing an amazing job. Renee Carter is the CEO. We've got her on the line and the magnificent Deborah Lee Finesse. Are we connected there, Deb? I am so connected, it's ridiculous. Wow. What about Renee? Is she connected? I am here. She is well connected as well. Look at that. Ladies, thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Pleasure. How are you, Deb? Where are you at the moment? Deb, you over in the States? What are you doing? In New New York. You're in New York. You're coming home for Christmas? No, we're not coming home this year. Well, I've just been there for two months. I just shot a film in Melbourne called Force of Nature, oh. which is the follow-up. It's the follow-up to The Dry. So I feel like I've seen all oh. the fam and sort of done all that. Yeah. Can I just say The Dry is one of the best Australian movies that has been made in the last 20 years. So the author the author of those books, what's her name again, Deb? Jane Harper. Oh, so you've done the follow-up because The Dry with Eric Banner. This is Banner. the follow-up, oh. Force of Nature, with mm. Eric Banner. Wow. Um, and I... Unbelievable cast. Yes. We've got an unbelievable cast. And we shot it in Warburton. And let me tell you, it was one of the hardest shoots I've ever done. We're in the mountains, climbing oh. mountains, leeches in our ears and noses, freezing temperatures, right. really unattractive portaloo. But hey, that's show <laughs> Hey, 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 Deb, do you know what? Can I just bring this up? I just saw you, you recently did a podcast and you were talking about a psychic that you went and saw a long time ago. Do you still go and see psychics? Oh, that's or was, right. that, or was that a one off? That was probably a one. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen many well, it, it, like, it, it Oh was... my God, you're talking about when I was in Hollywood. Yes. And I was to move back to Australia. And I said, just like, he said, go home. You must go home to Australia. She said, like, everything is back there. And, that, and that's where I met my husband and wow. didn't start work. And so she was right. And right. now you're drinking tea and still doing puzzles in the morning with, <laughs> with the great man. No, the husband does the puzzles. Puzzles to me is like Ikea. I can't put them together. So he's still obsessed with puzzles? He does the puzzles. No, awesome. I'm 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 all over the show. I paint and I, I sculpt and I design. Yes. I'm awesome. and I'm writing and is yes. he into Wordle, Deb? Does he did he get stuck into Wordle or no, he didn't really get no, into No, he did I tried that with a friend. That's kind of fun actually. Yeah. I might get back into that. Yeah, get back into Wordle. Now, Deb, this is we know how close this is to your heart and we love talking to you about this, but adopt change means so much to you. We you are calling on all Australians to collectively towards well, you're actually working towards a home for every child. How how many how many kids are we talking now in Australia that need a nurturing home, Deb, that need to find a home how, how many are we looking the, at well there's forty six thousand kids in foster care mm. there's eleven and a half thousand kids that go into foster care every year but our big push this year is we need we're making it really simple we need four thousand homes for kids this year yeah. so we're saying to the whole of australia if you have it in you to open your home and your heart we have all the support we have carer training if that's what you can do then we we need 4,000 homes. And a lot of these kids mm. are going into residential care at the moment that are under five years of age, some wow. one year of age. Mm. These kids are uh, being separated from their families, going into strangers. Can you imagine? And if you can't do that, yeah. we take donations. Yes. Everyone can help in some way. Renee, when you, as the CEO of Adopt Change, where, where do you start and how do you draw up a list of what you can do with the money? After the COVID environment of the last couple of years, when we're starting to see more kids coming into care, and as Deb mentioned they're quite young um, that we're trying to find a home for really we want our team to be able to focus on finding more homes so that's something that we then work with government and different agencies and we started to hear from people yesterday when we launched our campaign across Australia you know so I think it's just about making sure that that message gets out there and we find more people that can um, step up and that we can support through that journey. Um, Great to talk always Deb and also Renee great to have you on the show as well you know such an important message as we said with Christmas coming up and we always love you sharing uh, an update of where we're at. And like we said I mean if you want more information to get involved but even if you can't and you want to donate, please go to the website, ahomeforeverychild.org. It's run by Adopt Change, Deborah Lee Finesse and also Renee Carter. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Thank, Thank you. you, guys. Happy holidays. See Bye. you, ladies. See you, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. You're listening to the Fitzy and Whipper podcast.